it's, it's a privilege to be part of this project. And I can't emphasize enough how important this competition is. Um, my work, particularly with the African Union, um, first in relation to the Millennium Development Goals and uh, more recently the Sustainable Development Goals, has taken me to a number of member states in West, South, Central, uh, North Africa. And uh, I want to make two points about, about human rights education. One is um, the challenges that teachers face where, when they try to provide um, uh, education and schooling to students within the framework of the United Nations Convention. And then secondly, when they try to introduce human rights into the curriculum in relation to the human rights culture and climate within, within their own countries. The one clearly has got a relationship with the, with, 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 with the other. And what that means, I think, is that we need to examine really how individual nation states uh, um, determine what the function and purpose of education is. Because in many instances, what one finds is that the ruling government, the, the, the state, um, fashions education according to its overall political agenda. Uh, and sometimes that agenda itself is not particularly favorable to human rights. Teachers have a major task in ensuring that the convention itself is observed, that children are respected and their rights are respected as learners, and that they have the capacity to comment upon and work towards the building of a new social order uh, through schooling and education. And, and there are many complexities within all of that. One of the things, for example, that I concentrated quite a lot uh, on in my work is the business of um, increasing access to schooling, particularly for girls. And the, 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 the challenges therein, especially in situations where girls are structurally seen as contributing to how the generation of household incomes and so on. Um, the, 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 the whole question of patriarchy and how young girls particularly are seen within communities, whether it be in relation to early marriage or domesticity or whatever else it may be, uh, again, is an attack upon um, um, those girls' uh, human rights. And, and, and therefore, the policy context and the, 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 the school the schooling environment, schooling practice context in those situations become very, very complex indeed and can expose uh, 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 teachers to a lot of harassment and in some cases, very, very real physical danger because of what it is they're seeking to impart to students and their respect for the integrity of the student population and, and, and for the rights and entitlements of, 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 of learners. So I believe that the, <clears throat> the competition, in as much as it helps to focus on those issues in all their complexity and provides an opportunity for young people to use their voices um, in articulating some of those concerns um, um, cannot be more welcome, particularly at this time given what is actually going on uh, globally with this pandemic and, and its impact upon communities and their access to medicines, the access to water, the access to decision-making and, 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 and so on. Um, one of the things that I think is, is particularly critical in my view is how, human rights 
is, 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 is seen um, in terms of the purpose of schooling and education um, in relation to society. The famous Paulo Freire, the late Paulo Freire, has this really important quote. Um, education does not change society. Education changes people and people change society. Um, we can't emphasize that enough because the, the, the purpose and function of any new generation is to learn from the advances and defeats of those who went before them and chart their own destiny. And that's being done within an increasingly volatile political context in most countries. Um, so if schooling and education is not just about uh, um, training young people to conform to the existing social order, however broken that might be, uh, but about giving them the space to be creative and to envision a different world, then it means the, 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 the emphasis that is placed upon uh, providing students with the knowledge, the problem solving skills, the communication skills, to be able to do all of that in, a, in an organized and disciplined manner is fundamentally what the task of schooling and education is in such context. And so I can't emphasize enough the support that teachers need in those very difficult environments. So it, it's really important that we're able to, 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 to work internationally on those agendas. It would be configured differently in each place based upon all kinds of reasons. But, but, but to have that common focus, I think, um, um, cannot, cannot be, 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 be more important. So thank you for that.